We have a new battery from Cenarius. Let's open it up. User's guide. Okay, so as far as series parallel, uh, it looks like you can series four batteries. It says it should not exceed the four, a 48 volt system. And the, you know, you should be able to do four in parallel. Okay, and here's the battery itself. Nice, attractive, sparkly blue case. I haven't seen this before. We've seen some gold ones before, but I like that sparkly kind of metallic blue. That's really neat. So yeah, it looks a lot like uh, most of the batteries that we're receiving. Uh, very similar style case and size. From what I understand that this one is supposed to have low temperature protection, so we are going to test that. So for now, let's go ahead and charge this up and then we'll run a capacity test. All right, so this battery has fully charged. I want to start to charge once more to get an idea of where it charges up to. Does it get to 14.4? Does it get to 14.6? So let's try that now. All right, we're actually at 13.59 right now. Okay, we're at 13.6. Uh, we're almost at thir uh, at 14. Okay. Looked like we almost made it to 14.4 and then it shut off. So I want to say it got real close to 14.4. That's acceptable. So now let's set this up to do a discharge test. All right. So we got the shunt all hooked up to the battery. Inverter over here hooked up to the AC as a load and we're recording our time lapse here so let's go ahead and start the inverter and then uh, let's turn on the AC we're gonna keep it on low so we don't pull too much power all right and we're just gonna let that AC run and draw that battery down and we'll come back when this is complete Alright, so we're down to 2% and coming up on 1% here, right about now, there we go, oh, the inverter's crying, we're almost there, we're almost there, okay, we made it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna kill it right there. <laughs> so <laughs> that was close. So we made it to 100.27 amp hours, 1,294 watt hours. So we uh, exceeded the amp hours and we did exceed the watt hours. So we do pass the capacity test for this battery. Fantastic. Okay, so I've got this top about busted all the way off i think we can just pull it a little bit there we go and see what we've got on the inside of here i think we've got pouch cells it looks like a pretty pretty good build quality um we got a double eight gauge here on the positive silicone and then a double eight gauge on the negative silicone okay and then we've got the bms over here mounted on the side 
Let's see if we can get this these cells out. Boy, are they in there. Oh, I see. They, they're gl definitely glued down. There's a little bit of white silicone glue sticking out the side there. And so I, I'm assuming that the whole bottom of this is just gooped up. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to get it out now. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's the BMS. It says TP04S013-S 100 amp. And then it has another number here, 13200001. I do like the build quality. It looks purpose made. You know, they've got these metal side panels here, and then there's these plastic cell holders, and then they've got another metal plate on this side, and they're held together with these straps. And then I think we do have a thermal sensor right here. So what we need to do is dig it out. There we go. Oh, it's deep in there. All right, check that out. So this is not just a high temperature switch. This is actually a thermal sensor. All right, so I got the charger hooked up to the battery. We're gonna plug the charger in now. And we should hear the charger start. Okay, there it is. So if this has low temperature protection, when I freeze up this uh, thermal sensor here, we should hear this go off. Nothing on that round. Let's try again. Nope, still going. See, we're still doing 40 amps there. Let's try this again. I think that's the only one I see, you know. Now, if that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Oh, it did it! Look at that. We shut down. So let's warm it up. Okay, still not coming back on. We might have to restart the charge. So let me try that. Okay, we're back. So, let's try one more. There it is, yeah. So, we stopped drawing current. Charger went off. Cool. Well, that's awesome. I think this battery is coming in slightly under 300 bucks, like 299 or something like that. So we got a real budget battery here that has low temperature protection. All right, guys, so I think that's going to be the end of the video. I'll leave links in the description if you want to take a look at this battery. That's going to be it. I'll catch you on the next one.